Hi there, this is Marlena, and I just want to give you some insight into December 2020. The energy in your space is coming from the outside in. So the energy is wind and water, feng shui, that's what feng shui is. So what we're dealing with now in the month of December 2020 is basically the same energy of the whole year and doubled. So what we're going to deal with today is where the um, negative stars are. Okay, they've been located there for the whole year and each month a new smaller star joins that area. And so with this month what happened was the feng shui stars that met with the yearly stars are doubled. So we're going to go start with the center of our home spaces. The center for this year had a seven star, which is basically a robbery star. Okay. So everybody's house was afflicted because of the center star being the seven and it's in the center. So whatever energy is in the center for each year and each month will basically afflict every home on the planet. As we saw this year that each and every one of us was afflicted with a loss in one way or another. We lost our peace we lost our ability to be free and walk around freely without a mask. And um, that is one of the energetics here. So what we want to do for this month now is basically um, declutter your home space. Remove everything out of the way. So when you open your front door, the energy chi can move through with ease without having shoes and coats and clutter in the way inside and out. As I said, the energy comes from outside in. So we will also experience the energy from the neighborhood, from the city, from the country, from the atmosphere, from the earth, from the water, from all people. Okay. Um, so outside your house, it's very important to keep it clean, to um, remove the weeds, um, to basically uh, raise the energy vibration of your home from the outside in. So in the center of your home space, uh, go to the center as you're listening to my voice and look at the center of every room. Do one at a time, okay? Make sure there is no clutter there, number one. You can add a uh, water element there. You can add a fish tank there. You can add a salt water cure if you'd like. Um, you can add something blue. Okay, we need a little water energy there this month. So blue would be great. Black would be great. You can add a blue vase. Okay, something nice looking. A blue pillow a blue blanket, depending on where that area is in your house, okay? Um, if your door is in the center of your home, um, you know, very rare, but on some occasions it is where you come in in the very center of the house, um, then that is where you want to place a water cure. So, you know, you can place a water cure on your door. Okay, something blue. You know, you can find a nice sticker. Um, you know, in my case, um, I found some very nice blue seashell, you know, appliques and, you know, place them there. Um, also, you know, blue throws um, over the sofa, things like that. Whatever's there in the center at this moment in time, okay? Um, so we want to just add a little blue, flowing water, anything that is flowing, ripply, you know, things like that, a water element, all right? Add some in and see um, 
what starts to happen in your life if that balances it out all right so next um, area which is very serious the whole entire year has been the east yes the virus came from the east as we know so the east um, section of your home should be kept clean quiet clutter free okay we are going to utilize the metal element the metal element is round okay it could be a dog dish it could be um, nice uh, pots and pans okay um, anything of the round metal weights you know weights like you lift that could be that um, you can use um, let me see white silver gold okay energy in that area all right we do not want to add any fire whatsoever so fire is triangles um, pyramids um, do not add any crystals because that amplifies that energy all right um, do not add no candles keep the um, you know energy down in that area right so utilize metal as we just spoke of in your east sections of your home uh, especially the direct east and on the outside of the home as well all right um, south the uh, other very seriously afflicted area is the south um, usually the south is our um, fame and for fortune uh, section of the home uh, which usually would be adding a fire energy. This year we want to take out all red, all fire energy out of the south, okay, directly out of there. It will amplify the fire energy there, and fire, as we know, can increase, okay, drama and problems. What's happening there, which I am noticing for this um, year is strokes and heart problems um, losses grief okay we want to come out of that area we want to come out of the east all right if you have to spend time in there do not spend any more than two hours there if you're sick elderly um, pregnant stay out of that area all right um, that's the main thing so in that area as well we want to come in with the um, silver energy again okay we want to utilize that energy um, so you can bring in um, the metal elements as we just spoke of silver dishes silver pots pans whatever you have available round uh, make sure if they're pots and pans or certain bowls that they're in good condition you want them looking healthy you want that area to be um, clean, clutter-free, okay, um, dust it, all right, clean it up. If you have a window there, you want to clean that window. Uh, windows, actually, if they're, you know, dirty and fogged up, that will basically clog up the lungs. It's really amazing how this energy works here. I'm giving you free information, okay. So, we dealt with the east, the south, the center. Then we deal with the north. Direct north is bringing arguments. Okay. Um, divorce, separation, um, you know, losses of friendships and things like that. Um, which we want to get rid of that, right? So even if um, somebody wants to argue, you just breathe. And don't get involved in the argument and the drama, okay, because it can break up your household. And I'm dealing with a lot of clients right now that are in the fighting mode. And, you know, I'm trying to help them to not respond, right? Not respond to, you know, people starting trouble in one way or another. Don't respond like you used to. Just breathe. And allow the energy to just shift, right? Let them clear their, you know, minds or hearts or whatever they want to say. Um, and just listen and be like, okay, 
you know, I, I just let you release all that, right? Let them release it because they need to. They've got anger stirring up inside of them. Um, let it be. Let it go. Now, for this um, section of the home, uh, we really do not want to activate it, all right? So it is usually the water flow energy. Just keep it clean and clutter-free, all right? Um, and allow the energy to just flow freely and peacefully. So um, do not add any fire there, all right? Because you know as fire will stir it up. We don't want to do that right now. Thank you. Um, and fire and water do not mix. As we know, we are seeing a wood star come there. So, you know, we don't want to, you know, stir up any anger. All right. So clean it, you know, clean around that area. Clean the doors in your home. Clean the doorknobs. Um, clean the floors. Uh, most people forget about their ceilings, their light fixtures. All right, so you can take a broom um, and you can sweep down the ceiling. All right, you can sweep the doors down. Sweep down the walls with the broom. All right, and then sweep it up or vacuum it up and then wash the floors. Because you want to start from the top down when you're cleaning. All right, because if you start from the bottom, all right, and you clean the floor, and then you say, whoops, you know, I'm going to clean the furniture now. You know, what happens then is the dust, you know, goes back on the floor, right? And I noticed with a vacuum cleaner, um, unless you have a Kirby, uh, you will notice you can vacuum um, and dust will be all over your furniture, right? So it's always good, right, to make sure that your vacuum bags are clean, all right? If you're noticing dust coming all over the house after you clean, then you might want to vacuum and then dust, all right? And then wash the floor, all right? So you know your own home and things that happen, all right? Your blinds, you want to dust them down, wash them down, clean them, all right? You want to... Um, you know, basically uh, take all the things off the shelves, you know, one at a time and just clean these areas um, because we are getting ready for a new year, right? So we want the new year that we're going into um, to be clean and clutter-free and, you know, ready to receive something new and something better because I know that we are going to have a different energy coming in. So right now we're going to deal with this energy until January, like the 7th. All right. I notice it, you know, towards the end of the month, I'll notice a shift in energy. So I start preparing in advance. Other people, they'll wait till the 6th or 7th and then, you know, move the things around, do the cures. Um, and that's okay, but I can feel it coming. I can sense what's happening in, on and around me, um, in the air, in the land, in the atmosphere, you know, in the animal kingdom and people, um, objects, you know, stuff like that. I will get up and move something, you know, into a different area. And then I realize after I, um, dig dive into it deeper, uh, I moved it because that energy shifted right there. It's amazing. Um, so I'm like gifted in the area of knowing in advance, which is a good thing because then I can share it with all of you. All right. So the good area right now will be the North West. Okay. Very good energy there. Very good energy in the West. All right. So in the North um, west area, it's metal, all right? It's usually a metal energy. It's um, the man's area, the breadwinner of the home. Uh, keep it clean, clutter-free. You can add a stereo there, all right? A computer can go there. Um, metal energy. Also, uh, silver, white, gold. Make it look very ritzy, okay? Um, you know, whatever you got you know, that you can put in that area that really 
uh, speaks wealth. Okay? Uh, put it there. You can make a wealth bowl there right now. So that would be golden coins and whatever you have would be awesome for you. All right. Um, you know, in my case, I have my business plaque there. Um, what I'm working on now with the um, Mind Music and Audible Angels website, my new website. Um, so that's over there. All right. And other items over there which bring luxury, wealth, okay, uh, beauty, elegance, you know, something like that. You can do that on a budget, right? You can utilize what you have already, all right, but mostly clean it, all right? Get rid of the dust, get rid of spider webs, um, any dead energy, remove it, all right? Dead relatives' pictures do not belong there, okay? And they don't belong in the bedroom either. All right. <clears throat> they bring grief and sadness. Also, in your bedroom, you don't want people staring at you. All right. Same thing with saints and angels and pictures of Mother Mary and Jesus. They should not be in the bedroom either. Just so you know. Um, remove any um, urns, you know, dead bodies, that kind of stuff out of the bedroom. All right. None of that dead energy should be in the bedroom. You should not have um, exercise equipment, computers, um, you know, um, TVs going, things like that. If you want to have a peaceful night's sleep, all right? Um, if you're having trouble sleeping, um, you got to figure out what's going on in the energy in that space where you're sleeping. If you're in the east or the south, you'll know what's going on, all right? If you're sleeping in the center of your home, you will know what's going on. If you're in the north, you'll know what's going on because I just told you, all right? You are experiencing the negative influences of the negative feng shui stars. And the more time you spend in those negative areas, the more of that energy vibration you know, you're vibrating in. So stay out of them areas. Keep them quiet. No construction. Okay. Um, yeah. No loud music. No banging. Things like that. You want to keep them quiet. Um, you know, yes. So we want to also um, talk about the West a little bit. All right. The West is usually a metal element as well. Um you can bring outside some plants, right? Um, things like that. Um, we want to work on amping up the energy there. There's a flow of energy coming, which is good energy, all right? It's very good, actually. The energy of the west and northwest, very good, okay? Um, for the uh, southwest, which is usually relationship area and for the woman of the house um, if that's your good direction by your kua number then you want to um, activate it with the things that are for you okay in that area um, for the romance for you or whatever that is for you because sometimes it could be um, you know like your uh, let's say business you know, it could be good for your business in that area. Everybody's different. Um, so this month, okay, bring a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit of red. Okay, so it could be pink. It could be something red. Um, it could be your Christmas tree, you know, um, just a little bit, all right, in that area and test it out. Uh, if you start seeing fights and things like that, then I would check the north area. And then check that area because the north, like I said, has a argument star, basically a lawsuit star, you know, breakup star, things like that, um, argument energy. And then in the relationship center. So you want to declutter that, clean it up. Okay. I still have metal energy in there. I balanced out each and every room so that it has each element. All right, <clears throat> but if it's in a certain corner, 
where it is afflicted, well, I'm not activating that corner, okay, with any fire, okay? So no fire in the south, no fire in the east, no fire is going in those areas, all right? Definitely not. I don't care what anyone tells you. Do not do it, all right? So um, there could be uh, another thing going on this month, um, water, okay? Lots of water energy, um, and it's doubled. So we could see some flooding. We could see some storms. Um, and keep an eye on your bladder and your kidneys for this month. Uh, lessen your salt intake, all right? Um, keep an eye on how you're feeling, all right? Um, especially in your body parts I just mentioned because of the water. Um, I notice it in the air, droplets of water in the air, and then I see them around my eyes. So my eyes will fill up with water, you know. Um, so it's something to do with the air, actually, for me. Um, environment. Uh, so maybe I'm an empath with the environment. I don't know, but I'm going to work on clearing that out of my vibrational field. Um, so that's that. I just wanted to, you know, update you a little bit, give you some good information. Um, you know, you can listen to this again and take notes and then you can work on those areas. Um, you want to spend more time in the West. You want to spend more time in the Northwest. Um, if you don't know where them areas are in your home, okay, find out, ask a neighbor, right? What direction is that? And what direction is that? And you know what I mean? And find out the direction which your house is facing. Because whatever your front door is, wherever that is, in whatever section, that is going to afflict the whole house. Whatever star is there. Okay? So in my home, I have a north door um, in the front center of the home. Um, that was an add-on door, so basically, it is not the main door here, okay? Um, it is basically, for me, it's over in the northwest, west area, where the main door was in the beginning of the construction. Um, so, you know, I have three doors here, one's in the back in the southwest, um, which is really my health center for me. It's different for every person, like I said. But it still has the element of relationship, all right? So I want you to understand that next month we're going to have a different energy. So I want you to stay tuned to the channel so I can upgrade you on what's coming in for January and beyond 2021. So for December, since we're going to have an eclipse on the 14th as well, we are going to want to work on ourselves, okay, on what's coming up. Because things are going to start coming up, like emotional, you know, stuff like that. And you may get angry, and you may want to yell, and you may want to get rid of people and things and stuff like that. You might want to, um, you know, like, yell out and cancel stuff and things like this. Before you do, breathe and think. Okay, before you react, before you yell out and take out anger on other people, uh, take a walk, take a bike ride, right? Hug a tree, um, do some um, yoga or something you enjoy, right? If you have a hot tub or a tub, soak in it and just relax for this month. Allow yourself to relax and unwind. And don't be a part of the news and the media and the drama, okay? Step out of that energy. Um, I want you to have a nice holiday, right? As we know, um, the 21st is a very powerful day as well. You could start having dreams, all right? Visions, things like that. Um, intuitive may increase for you. Your intuition. Your third eye might open. Something, you know, amazing, incredible. So that you can um, see something, find out something. Um, that's going to happen for certain people who are um, 
you know, open to receiving that. All right. Um, stay close, you know, um, to home, right? Unless you really have to go out. Um, be careful if you're out shopping for gifts um, to go in the daytime. You know what I mean? Keep yourself safe, aware. Uh, if you feel unsafe uh, going out there, you got fear of other people or, you know, being robbed or something like that. If that's some problem you carry with you, then um, go with a friend. You know, if you don't have a friend, take a taxi. And then you're in the store and you call a taxi. So see, they'll pick you up and bring you back and forth, right? Get an Uber, whatever. So you're not alone. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> wear your mask, you know, and keep your hands clean. Um, you know, everything's going to work out. Just keep your peace. Keep your balance. If you feel off balance, contact me, all right? My email and all the information is going to be underneath this video. All right. Um, I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, and we're getting ready for something new and incredible to come in. All right. And um, it's going to be something to just, you know, start to change this energy here. So just be aware that this month everything's going to double. All right. So we want to have preparation so we know what's coming, right? And that's why I'm here. It's December 1st when I'm making this video, 2020. And I just got off of um, a live call with Awakening Heart Network. I hope you were either on the call or you will see the replay. I will try and post it on this channel here soon. But I did want to bring on December's Feng Shui video. So take care, my friend. If you need any assistance, just contact me. I have something for you, and there is a way to assist you. So take care. Thank you so much. Blessings to you and your family. Stay well, stay healthy, stay peaceful. All right? Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Take care now.